All right. Well, happy Monday and namaste, precious, precious souls. Welcome to the prayer and meditation for global peace and healing. We will invoke and get started. If you'd like, just go ahead and place the tip of the tongue on the palate. Go ahead and just make sure that your arms and legs are not crossed, your palms are palms facing up. We will go ahead and invoke and begin our state of bliss, hopefully. To the great architect of the universe, the heavenly father, heavenly mother, to all the great ones, to Holy Master Choa, to Buddha Padmasambhava, to the Circle of Seven, to Robert and Erla and Cheney, to Master Astalea, to Lord Katumi, Lord Rama, Lord Zoser, to the Astarian Hierarchy, to the Lord Rabbi Yehoshua Bar Miriam, the Lord Christ, to the Holy Mother Mary, Lord Kuan Yin Buddha, Lord Gautama Buddha, to our celestial guides, our angel guides, our oversouls, our higher souls, to Sanat Kumara, the Ancient of Days, the Lord of the World, to the Solar Logos, Lord Amen Ra, to the Universal Logos, the Central Spiritual Sun. We humbly invoke for your divine blessings. May we be a channel through which thy holy ones approach the world. May we be a center for the radiation of thy power. Teach us to travel light, that we may better gain the heights, and break the bonds that bind. Teach us to give ourselves entirely to thy service, to attune ourselves to thy will, Teach us to lay down the small personal life for the greater cosmic life and to love with the love of God. Om. Tatsat Om. So tonight, it is obviously a meditation for global peace and healing. And I wanted to get into a little bit into the weeds on why we do, why I do what I do from the standpoint of invocation. And for me, why I do this or why we do this. And we're going to experiment tonight and see if as a collective mind, we can go beyond the finite, which is ourselves, and go into the infinite. And we know that there are a first celestial hierarchy, which is the seraphim, cherubim, and thrones. The second celestial hierarchy is dominions, virtues, and powers. And the third celestial hierarchy is principalities, archangels, and angels. And I remember reading that in the seraphim, cherubim, and thrones, the first celestial hierarchy, that whatever is done as an act of charity gets their attention. So I'm going to will and decree that the energy from this be as an act of charity to all incarnated souls and all sentient beings, all beings with consciousness. It is said that there is an emanation of Aum, A-U-M, Aum, that is emanating out from the logo, the logos, or if you have multiple, it's logoi. So you have celestial Logos, you have galactic logos. There's many different levels. And imagine them all emanating an Aum in reverence to the creator of all that is. Okay, and this is an eternal going out in all directions. So I remember reading in Sri Yukteswar's book, The Holy Science, and he was the, uh, the teacher for Paramahansa Yogananda. And he talked about the central spiritual sun and in the Bible, it is the one about whom not may be said. And we haven't discovered, they haven't, nothing has been basically, he hasn't been found, or it hasn't been found to this point. And what's interesting is we know that the planets revolve around the sun. Well, the sun revolves around the central spiritual sun, which hasn't been, been found yet. 
What was interesting about Sri Yukteswar's book is he talks about the dark ages and what time that was within the period of where we were. And we were in a quote unquote spiritual winter. We were farthest away from the central spiritual sun. And we're now moving up toward that, towards, I guess, a spring or a summer. We're getting closer to. So if you think about what happens on the earth when we get closer to the sun, it becomes warmer. Well, let's look at the central spiritual sun as a spiritual being of light of love and of power, of divine light, divine love, and divine power. So the divine emanation from the universal logos and the galactic logos in the honor of and to the creator of all that is, is acknowledging the fundamental oneness of all that is, right? So how do we manifest our reality? Through thoughts, emotions, speech, and actions, right? And karma, both individual karma, from the present incarnation, past incarnations. We also have group karma. We have planetary karma. So if we think about the aspect of the Trinity, divine light, divine love, and divine power, right? The fundamental principles of unconditional light, wisdom, enlightenment, unconditional love, love for all sentient beings. We have the finite, which is you and I, our bodies, and we have the infinite, Okay, which is beyond, beyond the, physic the physicality. So the fundamental oneness of all that is, we have beings with consciousness, the Logos, expanding in all directions through all the billions and billions of galaxies and universes. For what purpose? To acknowledge the singular oneness, recognizing the oneness of all, of all that is. So with this vast, and it's incomprehensible, existence of beings that are out there and we think about our tiny little lives here and we're obviously souls having a physical experience in an incomprehensible existence of consciousness of all creation acknowledging that which sustains existence and life on all planes and here so finite and then the infinite right so just go ahead and place the tip of the tongue on the roof of the mouth just bring your palms, palms facing up. We humbly command and decree in this moment. May this divine, infinite Aum that is emanating out from all the Logoi of all the universes, all the galaxies. May it permeate and saturate all levels of the finite on our beloved Mother Earth. We humbly command and decree a portion of this divine emanation of home. Be directed to purify the element and elements of fire and lower human will. If you want, you can bring your hands, palms facing out, facing in, drop your bottom two fingers. If you have a dorji or an onk, you can use that. Okay. To purify the element of water and all that is associated with water on our beloved Mother Earth. Human emotions, the undines, the precious lives of our oceans, our seas, our rivers, our streams, our lakes, our ponds, the aquifers, above ground and below ground. Purify the element of air and all that is associated with the element of air and the air elementals, the silts and the precious lives that utilize the element of air, the bees, butterflies, birds, hawks, eagles, all. And the element of earth and form, the human kingdom, the animal kingdom, the vegetable kingdom, the mineral kingdom, the atomic and the subatomic kingdoms may all be aligned with the cosmic Aum. To all those that we have injured, and this is for all incarnated souls, as an act of charity, 
to all those that we have injured spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically, sexually, financially, or in any way through thought, word, or deed, knowing or not knowing, on this day, through all parallel time, throughout the entire cycle of time, Manvantara, we humbly apologize to all those that we have injured. We completely forgive all those that have injured us, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically, sexually, financially, or in any way through thought, word, or deed, knowing or not knowing, on this day, through all parallel time, back through the entire Manvantara, or cycle of time, back through all incarnations. And we apologize to ourselves for the times we've injured ourselves, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically, sexually, financially, or in any way through thought, word, or deed, knowing or not knowing, on this day, through all parallel time, back through the entire Manvantara cycle of time. All of our relationships back through all time, through all of our lives, all of our ancestors, all their relationships, back through all time, through all of our lives. We completely forgive all those that have injured us, we apologize to all those that we have injured, and we forgive ourselves. Cut, 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 cut. We release all connections, all unauthorized connections. May all these events, all these souls, all these lives be free of their pain, free of their suffering, free of their sorrow, free of their past. May they all be surrounded, enfolded, embraced with the divine cosmic home, with unconditional divine light and divine love. Purify our beloved Mother Earth of the need to conquer others, especially within humanity, to control others. We ask that this energy purify all incarnated souls and our beloved Mother Earth of all aggression and all that is associated with the aggressors. Of all violence, and all that are associated with the violent ones. Purify our beloved Mother Earth and all incarnated souls of anarchy and those that are associated with the anarchists. Purify our beloved Mother Earth and all incarnated souls of cowardice and all those that are associated with the cowards. All cruelty to humans and animals and all those that are associated with the cruelty of humans and animals. All addictions, may they be divinely purified. All those addicted to drugs, to sex, pedophilia, child trafficking. May these be cleansed and purified. To all incarnated souls, all sentient beings, to all whom have sent in prayer petitions, prayer requests, healing petitions, healing requests into Astara. To purify all sentient beings through the etheric connection of their desire, of their will, of their thoughts, emotions, and desire to be healed. Purify all sentient beings, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, etherically, and physically. May this sacred, compassionate action manifest to cleanse and purify the crown the forehead, the ajna, the back head, the throat and secondary throat, the jaw minors, the front heart chakra, the back heart chakra, the front solar plexus chakra, the back solar plexus chakra, the navel chakra, the ming men chakra, the front spleen, the back spleen chakra, the sex chakra, the basic chakra, the perineum chakra, under the armpits, elbows, hands, under the armpits, elbows, hands, the hips, the back of the knees, the soles of the feet, on in behind the protective web, deep into the root and stem. May these be cleansed and purified. Aum. Aum.
all the energy centers below the feet, may these be cleansed and purified. Cleanse and purify the circulatory, the respiratory, the digestive, the secretive, the eliminative, the muscular, the skeletal, the central nervous, the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system, the shishumna nadi. Cleanse and purify the shishumna nadi. Cleanse and purify the shishumna nadi. Cleanse and purify the shishumna nadi. The eight electrical nadi and their contact points. The head, the arms, the body, the legs, the feet, and the earth below the feet of all incarnated souls, all beings with consciousness. Any and all negative energies that are against the divine principle of free will May these be dismantled, disintegrated, externalized, expelled, released to the universal logos. Please accept this tiny humble offering under the ritual of sacrifice and surrender to be purified by the eternal Aum. Purified by the eternal Aum. Purified by the eternal Aum. That that's so. Ta ta so. Ta ta so. Just go ahead and relax your hands. Place them on your lap, palms facing up. Be aware of a beautiful light above the crown. And as we have talked about earlier from the standpoint of that divine emanation emanating out in all directions, imagine you are one with that light, an infinite light. Just affirm, I am that. I am. I am one with the great consciousness, which is God. I am one with the great consciousness, which is God. I am one with the great consciousness, which is God. We are one with the great consciousness, which is Aum. We are one with the great consciousness, which is Aum. We are one with the great consciousness, which is Aum. Only good can come to me. Only good shall go from me. I give thanks. I give thanks. I give thanks. Only good can come to us. Only good shall go from us. We give thanks. We give thanks. We give thanks. Just be still and be aware.
maintaining that stillness and awareness will lead with the merch blessing as the dews of infinite light fall softly upon our consciousness may they restore our soul heal our bodies and refresh our minds let the focus of our consciousness be centered upon your association with the greater life the creator of all that is and thus improve each of our daily affairs we are at peace with the world and with ourselves and the affirming meditation uh, refreshing are the outpourings of the infinite as they descend upon us and become one with us and we one with him and her. How much do they energize our bodies with new power? They fortify our mind and spirit with new vital life. Oh, we are one with the great cosmic light of Aum. Oh. Thank you so much for coming and joining us for this meditation of global prayer for peace and for healing. I hope you continue with the experience of bliss. Namaste, precious, precious souls. Thank you so much. Enjoy. Have a beautiful day, morning, evening, night, wherever you are. And we'll see you uh, tomorrow for the blessing of the prayer petitions, hopefully. Take care. Namaste. Bye-bye.